right, here we go. Hey guys, I hope you're all okay. Hello. <laughs> Let's start in a wide leg child's pose this morning. You can reach your arms out in front, let your forehead rest down onto the floor. Take a little bit of time there just to check in. As always, make this practice be about what you do today. So as you reach the arms out in front, see how that feels through both sides of your body. And start to focus on your breathing. You can let your forehead rest on the floor or stack your fists one on top of the other, rest your forehead on the, on the fists. Start to bring all your focus and all your awareness onto your breathing. Following the breath as it floats in and out through your nose. Calming you down and enabling you just to have that focus, not only for this hour, but hopefully for the rest of the day. I'm going to take a twist here, the right arm underneath you towards the right side, uh, left side, and side of the head to the floor. You can reach the left fingers to the top of the mat. Take your left arm up to the sky and then wrap it around your left thigh, uh, right thigh. Then you can open up the shoulder there. And then release. Changing sides, left arm underneath you towards the right side. Side of the head to the floor and then reaching the right fingers to the top. Opening the right arm to the sky, if that felt good for you on the other side. And then wrap the hand around the left thigh or left waist. And then release, taking the arms all the way back out front. Take one more deep breath. Walk your way up to seated on your heels. Now we'll bring the knees together, lay back over your legs, belly down over the legs, arms out in front, forehead down towards the floor. And as you take a big breath in, notice how that can help with the stretch. I walk the hands over to the right hand side, go over as far as you can or as far as feels good, reaching the left fingers towards the right. And then walking the hands all the way over to the other side, reaching the right fingers all the way to the left. Walking your way back to the center and then coming up to seated on the heels. Let's just take the hands behind, fingers, they can face outwards or inwards, see what feels nice for you. You can push down through your shins and just start to lift your hips up. And then sitting the hips back down onto the heels, walk the hands forwards. And we start to do some circles with the shoulders one way. And then circle them the other way. And then we can interlace the hands out front, turn the palms away, and round into the back and spread the shoulders. It's like you're driving a car here, so you lift up the right shoulder, let it drop, and then lift up the left shoulder, let it drop. So it's already thinking about the side here again. How does that feel in the top of your back as well? 
and then lift the arms up to the sky, get nice and tall. You can lean over towards the right, breathe into the left side. And then come back to the center, lean over to the left and take a deep breath into the right side. And come back to the center, release the hands. You can then take them behind you, interlace and draw your shoulders back, push the hands down towards the floor and take a deep breath, spread the chest here. As you exhale, press your shoulder blades together. Release the hands, let's bring them together again, interlace the fingers and then circle the wrists. That's good. And then circle them the other way. Let's come on to all fours now. Rest the hands underneath the shoulders and knees beneath the hips there. And you can rock forwards and back. How does it feel in the crease of the wrist today? How does it feel through the fingers, through the palm of the hand? You circle it as well, just get into some movement. Circle it the other way. Now bring some awareness into the lower back and into the hips. And we start to circle the hips. So as you tuck your tail, feel the core engage. And as you untuck, feel it lengthen. Good, and then take the circle the other way. And with every circle, just notice what are you feeling in where. And then letting the hips just be still, take a circle with the rib cage. There are more awareness there, just around the rib cage. Big circle up towards the sky, over to the side, and then letting the chest drop. And then take it the other way. And then keeping the rib cage still, circle the head. And you can do the bigger circle in this one. Good. And then circle it the other way. Bringing the head back to the center. You can let your belly sink and lift the head and chest up. We we'll tuck the toes and take the hips up into your first down dog. You can press the heels down one by one. Give the hips a nice little shake from side to side. So explore your down dog just for a little moment there. Yeah, good. Get really strong. Long into the Achilles, the calves. You can lift the heels up. Press the toes into the floor, have a bend in your knees and swivel the hips from side to side. And then press the heels down towards the floor. Get that extra long length there through the legs. They might not get all the way to the floor, that's fine. Lift the right leg up to the sky, you can bend your knee, open up the hip. And then bring your right knee to your right wrist, right shin on the floor. So it's coming into our kitchen pose. Let's make it moving. So you'll push your fingertips into the floor, lift your chest up, and then the elbows will bend as you lower down. And then push the fingertips to roll back up. And again, the elbows will bend as you lower down. And then roll back up. Last time, elbows will bend as you lower down. And then roll back up. Good. Press the palms flat. Tuck your back toes. Let's take it back into down dog. And you can wiggle the hips again. Press the heels down. Feel that movement. I'm going to take the left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Bring your left knee to your left wrist. Left shin on the floor. 
slide the back leg away. So maybe your pigeon's telling you what you've been doing this weekend. Maybe you can feel it. Okay, push into the fingertips, lift the head and chest up. And then the elbows can bend as you lower down. Chin to chest as you come back up. And again, elbows bend as you lower down. And then push back up. Try pushing down through the legs a little bit more as you do it. See what happens. See what you feel. Elbows bend as you lower. And then roll back up. Good. Palms can go flat. Tuck your back toes. Let's take the left leg back into down dog. And again, wiggle the hips, press the heels down, make it nice and moving. So lower the knees to the floor and then step your right foot just off the mat, around about by your right hand. Yeah. And push down to your left hand and take your right arm up to the sky. We're coming into a little mini twist, I'll turn to face you. As you exhale, slide your right hand towards your left knee and beyond. Yeah, so you can bend your left arm to do that. And then open it right back up. And again, right arm slides over towards the left um, knee, reaching past if you can. And then push your left hand to come back up. And then last time, slide the right hand past the left knee. And then open it right back up. Okay. Lower the right hand down. Now sit your bum down onto your left heel. Bring your right foot back in. I'm going to take a twist. So the right arm goes underneath your right shin. Rotate the palm face up. Rest it behind your right thigh. Left arm up to the sky. And wrap the left hand around your back. So you might catch your fingers, you might not. And you open up your chest here. Squeeze the shoulders back. Breathing in and breathing out. Well done. And then release. Come back up onto all fours. You can bring that right leg in. Let's do a little cat cow. Shake that out. Belly sinks. Lift the head, chest up. And then round into the back, chin to chest. So if you come back to neutral and step your left foot towards your left hand, that's it. I push your right hand, take your left arm up to the sky, and the left arm threads underneath you past the right knee towards that right side, and then open it back up. We straighten into your right arm to do that. And again, sliding the left arm past the right knee, so just in front of the right knee and beyond, and then open it right back up. Last time, slide the arm past the knee. Ending the right arm. And then open it right back up. Yes, good. Right hand comes down. Sit your hips onto your right heel. Step your uh, left foot closer. Left arm goes underneath the left shin. Rotate the palm up. Wrap it around your back. Right arm around the back. Maybe you catch hold of the fingers, yeah? Maybe not, but you're going to try and open up the shoulders here. A breath in and a breath out. Well done, guys. Good. And then release. <laughs> Come back onto all fours. Take a little cat cow. Let your belly sink. Lift the head and chest up. And then round into the back and chin to chest. Spread the shoulders. Let the belly sink. Lift the head and chest up. Tuck your toes under and then take it up and back into your down dog. <laughs> you swing your right leg up to the sky and you can bend your knee and open up the hip. Right knee into nose, right foot inside the right hand. Lower the left knee to the floor. Good. And release the left toes. Let's lift the arms up into a low lunge. You can interlace the fingers and turn the palms face up. Lean over to the right side, breathe into the left side. Yeah, so see if you feel that all the way down the left, left thigh, left hip. Coming back to the center, release the hands. We're going to come back onto our left knee 
the right toes to the face. So we get into the hamstring a little bit. Inhale. Exhale, folding over the right leg. We'll push down to the left hand and then take your right arm up to the side and then to the side. So we're twisting. You might not get all the way to the sky. Just see where you can go without over opening your shoulder, just keeping your arm in line with the shoulder. Lowering the right hand back down. Step back onto the right foot, lift the back knee and take your front foot to the back. Lower the knees to the floor, let the elbows brush by the rib cage. Straightening the arms, take a cobra up top. And we take it back into downward facing dog, pressing into the spine. Take the left leg up to the sky. You can bend the knee, open up the hip. Bring the left knee into the nose, left foot inside the left hand. And you can lower your right knee to the floor. Well done, release the right toes and lift the arms up. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up and we lean over towards the left side, breathe into the right side. I love how that feels down my right hip there. Good, and coming back to the centre, take the hands down, come back onto the right knee, left toes to the sky. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out as you fold over the left leg. You push down to your right hand, take the left arm out to the side, so you should see it in line with your left shoulder, and then twist them. Yeah? So don't let the arm be the guide. Let the arm be at the end of the journey. You're twisting from your belly button and above. So you should be able to see the hand. Inhale. Exhale, push down through the left heel. Feel the stretch. Good, lower the left hand back down. Come back onto that left foot. Lift the back knee up off the floor. And then take the front foot to the back. Now you can drop your knees. Otherwise, elbows brush by the rib cage as you know. Cobra up dog. And then take it up and back into downward facing dog. Heels down and hips up. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Let's keep flowing, right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. Right knee into nose, right foot inside the hand, come up into high lunge. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up, got that? And then lean over towards the right side, breathe into the left side. Good, coming back to the center, take the hands down, and then straighten into the right leg, or the right toes to the front. Now you can have this left hand on a block here, or you can have both hands on the block if you want to. But if you can, maybe fingertips either on the floor or on the block, block of the left hand, pushing down, right arm out to the side, to the sky, and then start to twist. Good. Lowering the right hand back down, stand onto the right leg, lift the left leg, and have that left leg parallel to the floor at the back. Push to the heel. And then onto the left fingertips again, maybe the hand is on the block. Right arm out to the side and then to the sky. So you're twisted half the knee. Bring your right hand back down. Left knee comes into the chest. I'm going to come up to standing onto the right leg, bringing your hands heart center. Breathe. Are we all okay? Find some balance there. Now your right hand can go outside the right leg and then left arm goes to the back. Twisting. Breathe. Good. Take the left leg all the way back to the sky. Left hand down to the floor. You can bend the knee and open up the hip. Oops. And then lower the left foot to the back of the mat. Bend the right leg. Right foot goes to the back of the mat. You're in your plank pose. You can drop your knees or elbows brush by the rib cage. Cobra up dog. And we take it up and back into downward facing dog. 
press the heels down, lift the hips up, inhale. And exhale. Left leg up to the sky, bend the knee and open up the hip. Bring your knee into your nose, put inside the hands. Hopefully you're starting to warm up a little bit. Take your arms up. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms face up, and then lean over towards the left side. So you're breathing into the right side. Good. And coming back to the center. Release the hands, take them whoops, either side front foot, and then straighten into the left leg. Doesn't have to be completely straight. Draw the left toes to the face. Now you can stay like this. Right hand can be on a block or on the floor. Left arm out to the side and then twist. Next, inhale. And exhale. Lower the left hand down and we stand onto the left leg and lift the right leg up. Working the hands so they're underneath the shoulders. Flex through the back foot, push through the heel. Right, left, right fingertips pushing into the floor or the block. Arms to the side and then to the sky. So twisted half moon. Breathing in. Breathing out. Let's lower the left hand down. Bring your right knee in and then come up to standing on that left leg. You can bring the hands heart center. Find the balance. Wobble your way into it. Now take your left hand outside your right leg and your right hand behind you into that twist. Breathing in and breathing in. So coming back to the center, take the right leg all the way back to the sky, hands to the floor. And you can open up the hip there, feel that stretch. Bending the left leg, straightening the right, lower the right foot to the back of the mat. Front foot to the back of the mat and into your vinyasa. Oh, brav dog. That's it, take it up and back into downward facing dog, heels down and hips up. Nice deep breath in. And long breath out. And let's keep moving, right leg up to the sky, bend the knee and open up the head. Right knee into nose, right foot. Let's put it next to the left thumb. Round the back heel 45 and then windmill the arms all the way up into warrior two. Good. Straighten the right leg and then bend the right leg. That's it. Get a little bit deeper again. So you can straighten it and then bend it. Good, so now wrap the left arm in front of you, right arm up and over your head. So you've got those opposing forces there, I love it. Straightening the right leg, bring the right hand onto the right shin and the left arm up to the sky. Now you've got your triangle pose breathing in. Now as an option, bring your right hand across the body towards that uh, left side. Get long through the side here. Inhale. Good. As you exhale, come back into warrior two. Right hand to the floor, and then big circle with the left hand. Front foot moves to the back, find plank, and vinyasa. Oh, but up dog. Take it up and back into down facing dog. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Left leg up to the sky, you can bend the knee, open up that hip. Your left knee into nose, left foot next to right thumb. Bend the back heel, reach the right arm all the way to the front and then open up into warrior two. Let's keep reaching through the fingers. So now you can take the uh, right arm in front of the belly and then the left arm up and overhead. Find the opposing forces there. Good. And then make your way into triangle, straightening your left leg, right arm up to the side. 
Okay, now it's a good idea to have the left hand on the shin. But if you like, you can also take the left arm towards the right side. So you're challenging the obliques a little bit more. Look down, bend the front knee, come back forward two. And then left hand to the floor, big circle with the right hand and front foot to the back. Exhale as you lower down, chaturanga. Cobra, upper dog. And then back into down dog. Deep breath in, give the head a little shake. Long breath out. So let's take the right leg up to the sky, bend the knee and open up that hip. Bring the right foot next to the left thumb again. Wiggle it till you get them. Drop the back heel, come back into warrior two. All right, so you've got your next little moment here in warrior two, really explore it, see how it feels. Reverse the warrior, but left arm, arm in front of belly, right arm up and overhead. Triangle pose, right hand onto the shin, left arm up to the sky. Good, right arm reaches towards the, the left side, if you like. One more breath. Good, looking down, re-bend the front leg, come back forward two. I'm gonna straighten the right leg now and turn the right heel back. So now both toes face inwards. That's it, and they are slightly inwards as well. Hands onto the lower back, push the thighs forward, hips forward to lift the chest. And then hinge from the hips and fold it forward. Up and get. Release the hands. Rest the hands on the floor for a moment. As you inhale, lift the head and chest up. And as you exhale, you can walk your hands through your legs. Looking, to, looking through the legs. Lift the sit bones up, take the weight into the toes. Walking the hands back underneath the shoulders. Lift the head and the chest up. Take the right arm out to the right side, left arm out to the left side. Yeah, so it's almost like an aeroplane here. But we can have a little bend in the knees. Draw the chest forwards. Right hand comes to the left foot. You can rest the right hand on the left foot there, maybe twist, twist, twist. And then lifting the right arm back up, bring your left arm parallel yeah, to the mat. That's it, take your left hand towards your right foot. You might reach it, you might not, and then try and twist the chest. Good. Taking the arm back out, reaching the chest forwards, maybe way into the toes there. Well done. And then release and fold it forward. You can walk your hands through your legs and draw yourself through. Inhale, lift the head and the chest. And we're going to rebend into the right leg, turning towards the front of the mat. Yeah, let's turn both feet towards the right. Step your right foot closer to your left foot and then lower your outer right thigh, right hip down onto the floor. You might want to get comfy there, see, if you can. <laughs> Reach your right fingers towards the left foot. Then lift your chest up. Now the right hand comes all the way back up. Resting the right hand on the floor, lift the hips and take your front foot to the back. Vinyasa, elbows brush, chaturanga, cobra up dog, and then back down with facing dog. How's that feel in your body? Inhale. And exhale. Left leg up to the sky, you can bend the knee, open up that hip. That's it, bring your left knee into nose, left foot next to right thumb. Round the back heel, open your way up into warrior two. Like earlier, reverse the warrior, right arm reaches in front, left arm up and overhead. From triangle pose, left hand onto your shin, right arm up to the sky. Left arm can come in front of you towards the right side. 
Looking down, we bend the left leg, come back forward two. Good. So now turn the left toes in, push the left heel out. Hands onto the lower back. Uh, push the thighs forward and the hips forward, lift the chest. And then hinge from the hips, take it all the way down. Good. Releasing the hands as you inhale, take the halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold it forwards, walk your way through. Try and relax your head. That's it. Lift the sit bones up, up, up. Inhale. Bring the hands again underneath the shoulders like you did last time. Taking the right arm out to the right side, left arm out to the left side. Get long. That's it. Good. So let's take the left hand to your right foot. Right arm up towards the sky. Twist, twist, twist. Bring in the left hand back. Right arm towards the left foot. And then twist, twist, twist. Try not to take the hips with you. And lower the left hand down. And again, relax forwards. Walk your hands through the left. Transfer the weight a little bit more into the toes. And then you're going to re-bend again into the left leg. And then take your, your left foot to the back of the mat into plank. Oh no, stay here. <laughs> Sorry guys. Turn both feet towards the left side. Yeah, so it makes it a little bit easier to step your left foot closer to your right foot. And then lower your outer right thigh down onto the floor. Good. We flex through the edge of that right foot and then reach your left fingers towards the right foot. Twist, twist, twist. So try and open up that right knee, flexing through both feet. Well then, good. Lifting the arm all the way back up, placing the hand down, lifting the hips up, and then taking the front foot to the back. Vinyasa. Cobra up dog. We take it back into downward facing dog. Good. Breath in. And breath out. So if you come forward into your plank pose, and stay with the toes tucked under, just lower the thighs towards the floor and lift the head and the chest. Keep the arms nice and straight. Tuck your tail. Don't dump into your back here. And then take it up and back into down with facing down. And then again, coming up high into the toes, bring yourself forwards into plank. Strong feet, strong arms, lower the thighs, the hips, lift the head and chest. Take it up and back into down with facing down. The last time, coming up high into the toes, roll forward, lower the thighs, the hips, lift the head and the chest. Good. Lower the thighs, release the feet. And then lower yourself all the way down. You can rest your hands underneath your head for a minute. Give the shoulders a shake. Give the hips a shake. How are we doing? <laughs> so let's bring the forearms underneath the shoulders. I'm oh, sorry, elbows underneath the shoulders, forearms flat onto the floor. Push down through the palms. Draw the shoulders down the back and lift the head chest up. Push down through the tops of the legs. So if you're uh, really dumping into your lower back here, try pushing down through the tops of the legs, the pubic bone, and then lift the head and the chest. Take your feet a little bit wider and then squeeze your heels into your bum. And try push down through your elbows, your palms, your forearms, and try and lift your knees up. See if the toes might even touch your head. No, <laughs> they won't. <laughs> Inhale. Good. And then exhale, lower the thighs, the knees, release the legs. Come down, forehead down onto your hands. Give the shoulders a shake. Give the hips a shake. Take your arms out in front and press your palms flat down onto the mat or onto the floor rather. Squeeze the heels into the bum like you did earlier. Sit and then with the forehead down, try and lift the knees up. 
push down through the pubic bone and try pushing down through your hands as well. Yeah, so higher up the very top part of the glutes. One more breath, drawing your belly in, keeping everything nice and strong. And then really some lower back there. Bring your hands uh, back in. Give the shoulders a little, uh, the hips are a little shake. Okay. And for the last one, bring your heels into your bum. And now we get to reach back, catch hold of the feet. Big toes touching, knees open. Push the feet away as you lift your head and chest. Now to rock forwards and back here. I feel the upper back waking up. Good, and then release. Rest down, forehead down onto the mat. So uh, bring your legs together again, point your toes, and then push down to your right leg. Bring your left knee out in line with your left uh, hip, left foot below your left knee. You relax your forehead down and try and push down to the pubic bone to the top of the right leg and that inner left knee, inner left ankle. Well done. You whisk through it today. Bring your left, uh, your elbow, sorry, underneath your. Um, Shoulders push down to the palms, lift the head, chest up. That's it. Think, uh, think like you're dragging your elbows back, you're lifting your chest up. Good. You can extend the left leg back. <laughs> Bring your feet together, relax back down into the mat, give the hips a little shake. And then bring your right knee out in line with your right uh, hip, right foot underneath the right ankle. And for me, it's pushing down to the left foot, left leg that helps me. And you can bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, the palms flat on the floor. Keep pushing down to the left foot left leg, so strong in that left leg, elbows drawing back, and then feel the upper back lift. Push down to inner right knee, inner right ankle. Good, well done. And then release, take that right leg all the way back out, and relax back down into the mat. So now you can bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Push your hips back into your heels. Take your child's pose. Hmm, have your knees together, feet together. Take it just a few breaths to let your back stretch the other way. And then walk your hands back towards your knees. Like we did at the beginning of the class, take your hands behind you. Fingertips pointing outwards. Just feel a little bit easier now to lift the hips up and squeeze your shoulders together. Good, set your hips back into your heels and you can move the feet uh, to one side and then extend the legs out. Sit up nice and tall. You can have a bend in the knees here. That's it if it makes the back feel a little bit better. And then lay your belly onto your thighs. Bend your knees more if you can't feel that. Inhale, draw the chest forward. Exhale, fold over to the left. Still a bit of work to be done here in the hamstring. Take one more breath here. So try not let the stretch come from the back. Feel it in the hamstring. Good. 
Draw your way back up. And then you can bend the knees and move your bum closer to your heels. Reach the arms forwards and then slowly lower down. We're going to come into a twist so you can bring both knees into your chest. Now, with the knees into the chest, take the arms out into a crucifix position. And lower both knees towards the right side. Just tap them on the floor there and then bring them back to the center. And drop the hips towards the other side. Tap them on the floor, bring them back to the center. It's the last time, but we're going to stay there now. Right there, knees forward to the right. Keep reaching through both hands. Mm -hmm. Try and squeeze the left shoulder onto the back, onto the floor. You're going to do a big semicircle with the left hand now. You're going to slide it all the way over your head. Roll onto your right shoulder and bring your left hand just on top of your right hand, although it'd probably go beyond that. And then let the left hand slide um, over your right arm, over your right chest, and then all the way over towards the left side, unfolding. That's it. Good, bring your knees back into your chest, and then move the knees over towards the left side. Take a little moment there. Press through both shoulders, reach through both hands. So now draw a big semicircle over your head. Try and keep your hands on the floor the whole time as you roll over onto the left shoulder, bringing your right hand onto the left hand and beyond. And then slide your right hand over your left hand, over your left arm over your chest and open back out to the right. Bring your knees back into your center. Set, place both feet down onto the mat and then you can lift the hips up to the sky. Just reach both arms up towards the sky. So try and wrap the shoulders around the chest. So you're drawing the shoulders away and then press the shoulders into the mat. Lower the uh, arms onto the mat, but the elbows are bent. Hands into fists, fists pointing upwards. Push through the backs of the arms to puff the chest up. Lift the hips up. And then you can slowly lower the spine down, vertebra by vertebra. Good. Now repeat bridge again, or come into wheel. Fingers towards the shoulders, press your palms flat into the floor. Lift the hips up. Stay there in bridge, or come up into your wheel. Don't be too hard on yourself here in wheel. It feels tight. That's okay. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Chin to chest to lower all the way back then. Take your feet as wide as the mat and windscreen wipe for the legs. And then let's bring the knees into the chest. Wrap the arms over the tops of the knees, give them a hug in. And last pose, plyo pose, all legs up to the sky or happy baby. Yeah. So I'm going to go for plyo. Let the legs come up and over the head. Feet might touch the floor, they might not. Otherwise, you're hugging your knees into your chest. Lower the palms down, lower the spine down. Yeah, if you're in happy baby, releasing the legs. And let's bring the soles of the feet together, knees open, arms up and over your head. It's my favorite way to kind of finish, to co collaborate, bring everything together. Take a breath in all together. 
Open the mouth and exhale, let it go. Relax your face, relax your throat. Let every muscle be soft and you're welcome to stay like this or take your feet to the corners of the mat, legs straight. Just let every muscle be soft. Allow yourself just to slip into a little bit of peace, a little bit of quiet after that little speedy Gonzalez clap. Hope you can feel that we've tapped into every little muscle, broken up the spine. Hope they freed up some tension created a little bit of heat. All those things that can help fuel you through your day. And in this little moment, just to rest, take stock. Setting the, the, the theme for the day. in the tone of the day. Be there for as long as you like. Or if you need to move with me and continue with your day, then you can start to move the fingers, start to move the toes, reaching the arms above the head. Do a big, long, lazy yawn. You can roll over onto the right hand side into your fetal shape. And then keeping your eyes closed, come up to seated to face the front. So you can bring your palms together, push your thumbs into your chest bone. Just bowing your head slightly, feeling that stretch in the back of the neck. In gratitude to the practice, setting an intention for your day. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Namaste, have a wonderful rest of your day. Hope everything goes well. And that you feel good, ready for whatever's ahead. Have a great day, guys.